Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video from Braid1. In today's video I am going to cover a thing that you guys have been spamming me all over the place today uh, and yesterday as well. So we're going to be comparing the GPU versus the ASIC miner that came out from InnoSilicon. So the A10 silicon miner is the latest Ethereum algorithm ASIC miner that they will be releasing. But to make it a little bit more clear to people that actually uh, thinking of this, this ASIC being way too powerful compared to GPU mining, well, in today's video, I'm gonna try and prove you wrong. But first of all, we're gonna grab an example. So, for example, my number one graphics card that we love so much, the GTX 1070 with 8 gigabytes of GDDR5 memory, costs about $400 right now. The Ethereum mining speed is 31 mega ashes per second and uses 120 watts of power. So, if you want to know how good this graphics card is on performance, you will need to see it on two perspectives. First of all, you need to know how much watts it is using per mega hash. So for example, the GTX 1070 is doing 3.8 watts per mega hash per second. Of course, with the right tunings, you can tweak it a little bit, get it a little bit better, but this is just like an average on how it is actually running. The second one that you need is the price per mega hash. So for example, for the GTX 1070, once again, this is about $12.9 per mega hash that it can deliver. So based on these two scores, you can actually see how well a graphics card is. But of course, we need, we need a little bit more examples. So let's take the A10 Ethereum ASIC miner. So I just took an example image. It's not the real thing, but it looks pretty similar to this one. So the price will be about $4,375. There's three versions, so I took the middle one. Uh, the Ethereum mining speed will be 432 mega ashes per second. It will use only 740 watts, and that is equal to 1.7 watts per mega hash. So if we go back, the previous one was 3.8. So it is almost double the efficiency on this new ASIC miner. The price per mega hash is $10 per mega hash. So it's only a slight difference between the GPU and this A10 Ethereum ASIC. So if we take this one step further, I'm gonna take the A10 ASIC, the GTX 1070, the RX 580, because this is actually one that is sharing the number one for me, the Titan V that is an absolutely a useless graphics card to use for mining. It is absolutely not good at it. It's way too pricey for it. And the GTX 1180 with the expected hash rate that I think it's going to have based on my calculations. So if we see that the A10 ASIC has 432 mega ashes per second, the GTX 1070 has 31 mega ashes per second, the RX 580 32 mega ashes per second, the Titan V a whopping 82 mega ashes per second, and the GTX 1180 is going to have something like 56 mega ashes per second. But as we add the power to all these graphics cards and ASIC miner, it's 740 watts, 120, 110 for the Titan V, 165 watts, and the GTX 1180 will use about 120 watts. This can be less, can be more, but we assume that it's going to be that. For the price, the A10 ASIC is 4.3k, the GTX 1070 $400, the RX 580, you can even get these so cheap, like $280, $240, something like that. The Titan V, way too overpriced, $3,000, absolutely not worth it. And the GTX 1180 will be about $850, up to a whopping $1,000, but we don't know for sure. So if we take these calculations, and we fill them in with the watts per mega hash. We have 1.7 for the ASIC. We have 3.8 for the GTX 1070. 3.4 for the RX 580. 2 for the Titan V. And 2.1 for the 1180. So what does this mean? The next generation graphics cards will have about the same efficiency. 
Yes, that's correct. We are getting really close to the same, very same efficiency. The reason is they also evolved to be more efficient and they will be coming out pretty soon in a month or a month or three from now as they presume that the GTX 1180 will come out end of August 30. September 30 will be the 1170 and October 30 will be the 1160. So that's still like four months away until they are all released. But there's one more thing, of course, that we need to show you. The price per mega hash. So for the ASIC, it was $10. For the GTX 1070, it's 12.9. For the RX 580, it is going to be less than 9. Because we assume that you buy this one from Amazon. But if you find a really cheap supplier for RX 580s and you can get them for $200, you will be very cheap on these graphics cards. And if you don't really mind too much about how much electricity your mining hardware is using, the RX 580s will be better. For example, the Titan V is a total waste, as I said before, because this is $36.5 per mega hash. That is like three times what it needs to be. The GTX 1180 will be $15 as well per mega hash. But of course, we don't know actually the price and we don't know the mega hashes per second exactly. So this is an assumed price ratio. But as you can see, the Titan V and the GTX 1180 should have the same efficiency. So 2.0 and 2.1 watts per mega hash should be pretty similar to these graphics cards. So I assume that I am pretty correct. Looking at these numbers, you can clearly see that the Titan V, GTX 1180 are about the same efficiency as these ASICs. And if you can get the graphics cards cheaper at the end, or if you don't mind about electricity costs, the previous generation of graphics cards will still be very suitable for mining, especially the RX 580s and, of course, the GTX 1070s, if you more like simplicity and you just want to do plug and play. So I just wanted to make this video for you guys because I don't want you guys to think like, oh, these ASICs are so much better. Well, you guys have to wait for what is coming. There is some serious awesome stuff coming out for Ethereum mining that are not ASICs. So stay tuned and hopefully you all enjoyed this video today. So see you guys in the next one.